The movie mashup known as Barbenheimer is hitting box office milestones. According to the website Box Office Mojo, Barbie added another $48.2 million in sales yesterday, bringing its two day total to $70.5 million. Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer has brought in $33 million since Thursday night. CBS 2's Michael George reports on how the summer sensations are providing a big boost to the film industry. I bought my tickets months ago. Americans are back at the theaters, many dressed in pink, lining up to see two films with no connection. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Ken. The bright pink comedy, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Didn't need a charge. And the dark historical drama, Oppenheimer. Moviegoers are leaning in to the wildly different tones. Some 200,000 people bought advance tickets to see both movies on the same day, according to the National Association of Theater Owners. We saw Barbie at 3, and then we are doing Oppenheimer at 6, so it's like a full day thing. But the industry is in dire straits. Ticket sales haven't fully recovered from the pandemic, down 20% since 2019. And summer sequels like Indiana Jones and Michigan Mission Impossible are no longer attracting audiences the way they used to. Both fell short of expectations. And complicating any recovery, Hollywood screenwriters are on strike for a third month, joined on the picket line by the Screen Actors Guild eight days ago. Tens of thousands are out of work. Production on new films halted. Movies don't write themselves. You have to have actors in front of the camera. So this is going to be very important that this gets resolved. The sooner, the better. So while the Barbie and Oppenheimer bump is keeping movie theaters alive, the big question is, what's next? With no big summer blockbusters on the horizon and actors potentially unable to promote upcoming films if the strike stretches on. Michael George, CBS News, New York.